Now, the UK Labour leader Ed Miliband has ruled out forming a coalition with the Scottish National Party after the upcoming general election. The main threat to Prime Minister David Cameron wants to shut down a Tory campaign warning that Labour will join forces with a party committed to leaving the UK. Now, subsequently, both the SNP and the Tories, they pointed out that Labour had stopped short of any ruling out any informal deal. Uh, now, Wilfred filed this report on Labour's attempts to assume power in May. With a general election less than two months away, this man is still shooting for a Labour majority, having ruled out a coalition with the SNP. Labour have set out their five key pledges, including one on living standards that will involve handing the energy regulator the power to set prices. Labour's top politicians say freezing energy prices won't damage business. Where we see inefficient markets in sectors, that's where we believe government has a role to play in energy, in banking, in house building. What we have said is that we've got to make sure that the market is operated in a fair way and for too long we haven't seen necessarily in our bills them being cost reflective of the cost to the companies. And for the people who travelled to Labour's spring rally on Saturday, they say Ed Miliband is sticking up for the working class, with most saying he's the right man to take up residence in 10 Downing Street. If, if you compare him to um, David Cameron, I think Ed Miliband connects more to me than David Cameron and, and Nick Clegg do. Do you think the Conservatives have done a decent job over the last five years? They bribed us old folk with a quarter of a billion pounds with this 4%. It's a bribe. It's just a pure bribe. They've got absolutely no principles at all. Within the five pledges, there was a clear message on the National Health Service and raising tax on the wealthy. 20,000 more nurses, 8,000 more doctors, 5,000 more care workers and 3,000 more midwives paid for by a mansion tax and by doing something else. Closing tax loopholes exploited by the hedge funds, something this Tory government would never, ever do. So we have had a hero's reception here at the Labour Party conference for their leader, Ed Miliband. The biggest cheers undoubtedly coming around the national health system and also from his bottom-up approach to turning the economy around and paying back the national debt. The question in 54 days' time, of course, will people from outside this convention centre be thinking the same way? Until then, these voters will be hoping Chancellor George Osborne does not announce too many giveaways at this week's pre-election budget. Wilfred Frost, CNBC.